Welcome everyone to the third episode of the fuck. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're gonna keep this family friendly, I've already failed. But welcome to the podcast. <laughs> We're gonna call it the Taktaro and Kelly podcast until we come up with a name. I am Taktaro and I am here with I mean I don't know who that is, but <laughs> Kelly, and we are going to have our third episode. Let's get started. Kelly, how are you feeling today? I'm good, just busy with homework and everything. How are you? My college student struggle, am I right? Um, very, Absolutely. <laughs> very tired. I got back home late night last night, and by late night, it was like, I think 1 a.m. when I got back. I was tired. It was a long time, but you know. It, it was a good Friday night, so I can't complain. Um, yeah, so we have a assortment of questions that we're just going to go down. Maybe have some tangents. You know how it is. And I do not have them up right now. Now I do. Okay. So what do people misunderstand about you the most? What do people m- misunderstand about you, Kels? Oh, goodness. Um. That is a good one. I have to think about that. I pick good um, ones, I told you. Why don't you go first? Because <laughs> I have to think about mine. Uh, okay, I will. But first of all, let me feature my cat back there. <laughs> she's very comfortable. My bed looks like a mess, but she's she's taken over it, so there's nothing I can do at this point. Um, mis- What do people misunderstand about me? Um, I think... Because of how much I like, there's a lot of different people that I associate with and like hang out with and talk with. Some people, I don't know. A lot of people think like I'm just strip extroverted, but I I do enjoy my alone time a lot. Um, especially when it's just like kind of just playing games by myself. I like it too. It, it's a nice feeling. I, it is calming sometimes. I don't want to be out all the time. And some people think that I'm just straight up extroverted because of how like social I can be and talk to people. But I like being at home. Um, what else is there? I think also, what is it? I come off as very bold and brash and like move forward, all that stuff. And so a lot of people, I don't think they realize how much thought I put into things. A lot. Like you've heard the amount of I've talked a lot when it comes to like planning out this podcast, for example. I bet Kelly's brain is full of random crap that I've been saying, just like load, like overload and be like, okay, we could do this. What about this idea? We literally, I would always try to make sure that everything I, everything I put out is like really good. And I feel like a lot of people don't expect that about me because I don't, when I'm talking with people and just having a good time, I don't really have that sort of, um, I don't put off that sort of vibe or that perspective. It's usually just, the perspective of someone that's like very bold and just run forward. But a lot of times I'm thinking very, very carefully about what my next move is, how my day is going to go, like everything. And I put a lot more thought than people think I do. What about you, Kels? I think people don't understand how shy I am when it comes to public, because even if I like do something like on the internet or something, it doesn't really seem like I'm that quiet and shy person. And so, but I don't really post that much. And so I think people are starting to get the hang of that. But when you actually meet me in person or like in public, I'm like so quiet. And I don't think a lot of people know that. And so, because I, I'm not the type of person that go, oh, I'm quiet. I'm a shy person. Yes, we do. <laughs> so, yeah. That's real. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. I do definitely remember that from, uh, I think, in the first time when I met Kells in person. That's that. That's pretty much, yeah, that's how it seemed. Honestly, I feel like me and you, we started talking and getting along a lot quicker than most people. Mm-hmm. But in the beginning, you still were quiet. I do remember that. Yeah. And that's definitely some people that I know just like, I need a little more time. Honestly, I'm kind of like that too. If I'm not like, if I'm especially like going into a new group, for example, then I don't really know much about those people. I don't know what kind of jokes are okay or not. I don't know what the boundaries are. So I sort of play play it quiet and like see, okay, what's like, what's the, what's the, um, what's the kind of expectation here? It's like the joke where people say that you have like three, like different personalities for different groups you're in. That's kind of how I feel. Like 
this make it's not a different personality, but me just thinking like, okay, what jokes are okay? Like what behavior is normal slash tolerable and what's not to make sure you don't hurt anyone's feelings or upset anyone's boundaries. So I definitely, no, yeah. Yeah, I kind of do that too in the beginning. But once you're comfortable yeah. with someone, you are a riot. <laughs> no, yeah, it's you have to just grow that comfort around them and then you tend to just be yourself. Then you unhinge but, as hell. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess when people see me, they don't they think that I'm not that quiet and shy person. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I have to like actually explain to people that I'm actually quiet and shy. But you can already get the hint when you see me in person if I'm not talking or anything. <laughs> I think yeah. that, uh, what is it? No, I forgot. If I, if I remember in the future, I'll let you know. But, um, oh no, I was going to say, yeah, I feel like when you see, uh, what is it? I feel like our social medias kind of convey the opposite about each other. Like, for example... Mine is a lot like funny clips, just like stupid stuff. Me like playing out my thing and like a funny clip from a game. Yours is like, you know, like usually it's like to like a certain like song or like a certain like thing. And you look like a badass. I'm gonna be honest. If I saw you first, I thought you'd be, I thought, I thought you're the cool kid at school, but that's definitely not the case. <laughs> I would think like, I would, I, would think I would think she's the cool kid. And the, I would think that I'm just a kid with, with headphones always on and just that sits at home and plays games. It's not entirely wrong, but <laughs> it's not entirely wrong. But I feel like that kind of conveys opposite traits because, you know, me being more on the extroverted side, at least on paper, and you being on the introverted side, it's kind of opposites, which I think is cool. <laughs> cool kid. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't see, you don't like look. I've, there are so definitely some people that I look at that. I look at them and I'm like, oh yeah, you definitely were like the cool person. And then they're like, no, I'm not. And I'm like, that's 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 not. I mean, and your opinion is valid, but also it's wrong. <laughs> I'm okay, kidding. Whatever I'm, you say. Uh, exactly. That's that's why I said my opinion's right. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> anyway. I like how we talked about the uh we the a lot of stuff was about introvert extroverted, which again you kind of copied me, Kelly. You're not you're not original. I think we should get you out of the podcast. You're not original. Uh, but the next question was, are you an introvert or an extrovert? And I genuinely did not. I think we, yeah. I did not remember that we put that. And you know what? I think we've already confirmed. But hold on, but Kelly, do you think you're like, do you think like you're like actually introverted? Or you think you're like a mix? Because I feel like it's normal for people to be like a little bit quiet when they don't know someone. I feel like that part is normal. I feel like extroverts aren't just people that just blow up instantly out of like laughter and ha happiness and conversation when they just meet someone. Does that make sense? I feel like it's normal. No, yeah, that's totally normal. But if I had if I had to choose one, I think I would be mixed because there's some days, oh, I want to go out and do something. But there's some days, oh, I just want to stay home and just do nothing. That's what I was thinking. Not yeah. talk to people. And so, like, there are just those days where you just feel like doing something and then don't. And then, so you're, you're kind of like in the mix of everything. So to me, I think I'm a mix because I can't just choose one. Because I do feel those days, and so. What about you? I, I say mix, yeah. Leaning t more towards the extrovert side, but there are times where I'm like, yeah, I don't want to go out. I'll just, I'll, I'll stay here, do my thing. I don't, if I didn't end up working on my, I was going to say that it might be a different uh, reason if I didn't have any work slash stuff to do with my career. Which, again, I can't see that happening of me running out of work for the next, like, 5-10 years. But if it, if that was the case, i just play video games at home, really. I would just be in a Discord call with friends, just, like, streaming my screen. I'd be like, alright, I'm just gonna play this game and do, do stupid stuff. That's pretty much what I would do. And honestly, I like it that way, too. Yeah. Um, ooh, this question I like a lot. What underrated tools are indispensable for your job? This could be for... You're either content stuff or for your actual job. You can start. <laughs> okay. Um, for content, there's multiple. I actually have a I have a whole notes thing of softwares and websites that I use, but I'll I'll kind of I'll briefly go over them. Uh, what do I what did I call the notes software? Yes. So for content, I have. What is it? 
I use OBS Ninja for streaming multiple cameras from different people. I don't know why we wouldn't use Discord video, but back then we just, when we were doing the NHTV podcast back in the day, which was an old content creator team I used to be in, well, we're still in, but it's just inactive. We would use that. I use uh, Photo, P, uh, Photo PEA for Photoshop. Um, Streamladder, I used to use it to turn um, Twitch clips or YouTube clips into content for shorts, Instagram reels, etc. Like that kind of content, like the mobile kind. And uh, I would use Snappa and Canva for graphics for like YouTube and like Twitch, etc. I love Canva. It's one of my favorite uh, applications to use. And I love, I have Canva Premium on there. That's the only thing. I don't even have a Netflix subscription. We only have Netflix. And I really, I care more about Canva, having a Canva subscription than anything else. It's crazy. I love Canva. Um, there's also a website I use called uh, like a Get yt mp3 or something like that where i use it to sample audio from youtube videos and then put it in my videos it's a very helpful website and it's very quick as for engineering i use um yeah actually i would say autocad but this question is asking about underrated tools so i think canva is definitely underrated a lot more people should know about it than that don't know about it when it's really helpful you can make a really cool graphic for your social media like instantly and the other websites and applications I use, I don't hear about too many people using them. So they're really good. Um, as for engineering, all of the ones that I used to that I use for engineering, they're just very common. AutoCAD, Inventor, etc. Very basic ass drafting software that you learn in high school. So yeah, but those tools and websites are really good, especially because when you're doing content and you have to cover all bases, it's nice to have a little application to help you out. It really is. Yeah. What about you, Kels? Uh, for content, I think I would say, um, for like my thumbnails, I just I like have been using Canva, and so I've been using that. And um, for music, if I want to get like a non copyrighted one. I would use uh, I I want to say it's called YouTube MP3, and it's not a website that a lot of people know or use, and it's actually really good. Um, my teacher, my film teacher from high school, like taught us this, or not really taught us, but like introduced us to this website, and so I use it like all the time for like my music, just so that I don't get copyrighted and get that video taken down. <laughs> And so, um, or like you can use any like video and then just put that link in there and then it'll convert it to an audio and then have it non-copyrighted and then you can just use it right away. Um, but I, I, that's really about it for the film side. Um, but for the, for my IT side, I use a, a lot of like just the common apps is like Microsoft 360, and so we don't really use that too oh, big of a basic Microsoft. Okay, okay. Yeah, and we we use like Microsoft Teams and um, Outlook and just just every every like simple yeah work office. <laughs> Those aren't underrated though. A lot of people know about them, but you know yeah. you still use them. But I that's really about it for that that side because right now I like I mean I'm probably gonna learn more to what to use, but just for now I know about those things. Oh yeah. But I yeah, or, or for like my film side again, I do use Photoshop too, but that's not really underrated because a lot of people know about it. But yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't think there's much things that I use that people don't know. I think it's mostly that YouTube MP3 converter, and so it's really helpful. So oh yeah, if you guys, if you want to use it, see, it's free. It's free too. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. You know what's funny? When I I feel like I also phrased it like this earlier, but when you said your film side, it made me laugh so hard because it sounded like you're talking about like alter egos. Like this is the film Kelly. This is the oh, IT. What? This is the IT Kelly. My two alter egos <laughs> that I call in whenever I, I need yeah, them. Yeah. 
Uh, I, yeah. I, I, in fact, remember that I think me using Outlook so much for my job, it made me want to like use Google Calendar a lot more. As what I tell Kelly, whenever she's like interested in like planning something with me, I'm just like, check my calendar. <laughs> Cause even the calendar knows more about how my day is going to go than I do. Like, I'm like, hey, if you want to hang out with me, check my calendar, see what see what time's free. And then she, and I'm like, hey, do you like look at my calendar a lot? She's like, yeah, sometimes I check it. And so like, if I'm just checking if you're busy for a certain thing, I'm like, yeah, I got used to it. Outlook, we would like schedule a lot of things like meetings and like work and stuff like that. And I like that feeling of planning out what time is what. Even like my friends kind of made fun of me before. Like, oh, Fraz, why are you scheduling a time to play games with your friends? And I'm like, I like it because I know what's going to happen. I know how the day's going to go. And everything that's not planned, I can do whatever I want with. And that way also, I there's a lot of people that like, not a lot of people, but like when there are people that ask me to hang out. I feel bad never giving them a concrete answer. Being like, oh, I'm busy this day. I'm busy this day. So then I can go on my calendar, lock in a time slot. And I'm like, okay, during this time slot, we'll do something together. And so it makes me feel like I can not only be busy on my own stuff, but my friends are also, you know, I get to spend time with my friends. It's good. Out Outlook contaminated me to that. So, <laughs> you know, Kelly, if you ever want to join the Google Calendar side, it's always it's always welcome to bring more people in Google Calendar. We have cookies. <laughs> See, you use Google Calendar. I use my Apple Calendar on my phone. The ass kind. <laughs> oh, sorry. I mean the bad kind. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. But if I'm at work, I'll use Outlook. And so... Speaking of crappy Apple, if anyone is listening on Apple Music oh. or Spotify, you, you guys are doing great. Good job, guys. Oh. You, you guys are you guys are awesome. You guys are well. Some are more awesome than others, but I'm not going to disclose which one. <laughs> wow, I I see how it is. And not out of bias for a certain platform. It's it's just because mm. you know, not it's called it's just natural selection. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> No, I I like using my Apple Calendar is because I have all my families connected and so I can see if I'm actually available that day or not and then so I don't have to keep asking my mom, "Oh, hey, Bob, are, am I free that day or <laughs> are you free that day?" <laughs> and so it just saves me the hassle of just going everywhere and so yeah, but this this dude, I think he's on the side. This dude likes Google Calendar. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, freaking but, Google is way more common. It's better. Let's see how many people use Google Calendar. <laughs> yeah, guys, you should you should contact us. We should have we should have a survey on one of like the like a YouTube like poll, and I'll be like, hey, Google Calendar or freaking Apple Calendar. Ugh. Apple calendar. Yeah. Wait, you said it. Have you heard of? Uh, have you okay? Have you heard of another person outside of your family that uses Apple Calendar? Yeah. Don't lie to my face like that. I'm not lying. <laughs> oh yeah. Totally uh, are you sure they're real, not an imaginary friend? From Foster okay. Stone for imaginary friends. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I don't have any imaginary friends, but I do have some friends that use Apple. Mm. Apple. I was about to say Apple Music, Apple Calendar. <laughs> hmm. You should slide. You should slide the, uh, some info later because I'm very curious just to just to verify the legitimacy of these people people that you are mentioning. <laughs> oh no. Um. Wait. So, does your, all of your family use Apple? Yes, my whole family has Apple. So when a kid gets born and they have an Android, do you just like kick them out to the curb? Like, what do you do? Actually, my no way. My uncle has an Android. So did your uncle like get like, excommunicated from the family? Like, <laughs> did he get like did he get banned from the house? We are trying to convince him to get an Apple, but it's because you're like a because... church. <laughs> <laughs> trying to convert it's people. Because... <laughs> it's because. Korean people are a big, like, Samsung people. And so, like, a lot of people in Korea use Samsung. But there are, like, some people that use Apple. Like, my cousin has an iPhone. And so she uses Apple. But I believe her brother and her parents use um, Samsung. But it's it's a very... It's very Korean-y to use a Samsung phone. And you do so not that's say why... Korean-y. 
unironically. Okay. You did Kore- not say that. Korean people. But anyways, <laughs> you don't Korean that's why. <laughs> that's why, in, like, if you see like Korean commercials, you'll see like the Flip Galaxy phone, uh-huh, or yeah. just just anything. Or if you see K-pop idols, stuff, just not Android. They'll use they'll use the Flip Galaxy, but you'll you'll rarely see like some use iPhones. But now iPhones are becoming a big thing in Korea, and so. Um, but even my grandparents use his iPhones, and so we're 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 trying to get my uncle converted to an Apple. But you know, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> we we accepted him, I guess. No, not for kidding. long. Not for long. <laughs> He's gonna excommunicate him any second now. Oh my goodness! But yeah, every time he's like thinking about like or a new iPhone comes out or we're just talking about Apple or we're like, hey, you should get an I- Apple iPhone. <laughs> God, you guys are gaslighting the uncle into getting an iPhone. <laughs> You're like, wow, I mean, like this iPhone's so good. You should like get it, you know? It's I mean, really... he got both of his uh, kids iPhones and even his wife has an iPhone. So he's the only so one So are you saying out. he needs to conform to his family? Is that what you're saying? Are you saying yeah. he can't be individual and a unique man, and he has to follow the exa- follow his kids and his wife? Maybe he wants to be his own man. You never thought about that, Kels? Mm. Women, am I right? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Google Calendar user, am I right? You know what's funny? When I did that, I pointed to the wrong screen, so I'm gonna look like a dumbass. Oh, I yeah. At first, I did this, but I was like, oh, wait, he's yeah, on this I, side. I did not pay. I, I keep forgetting. <laughs> But on my side, uh, you pointed on the wrong, on the right side. So. Oh, nice. Well, yeah. <laughs> Although it, mine's probably gonna go out. I'm assuming. Because yeah. we we have still, for context, in the first podcast episode, there was a bit of a background noise issue. So before we yeah. upload any from that recording end, we need to fix it. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean we, but yeah. <laughs> you mean me? <laughs> yeah, I meant I meant I meant Kelly. <laughs> But anyways, <laughs> yes. Next question. Let's see, or I mean, topics. Sorry, I don't know why is that question. They're they're oh, all I questions. It literally yeah. doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? You got to go first on this one because I still need to think about my answer. Living situation. I want to say. I have a guess, but I'll wait until you say it. Honestly, okay. Living situation, probably either Cal, uh, not California. California, uh, <laughs> Sacramento, or L.A. Oh, I was wrong. I thought I was gonna guess Korea. Oh, because I mean, I would, I would love to live in Korea, but it's. I think I just want to just explore my options first before I like, ah, I want to live here. Right. You want to but, explore all of Cali before you think about like going out of, say, say Cali. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. But I was actually thinking living in like Oregon or like Texas because first in Oregon, there's no taxes. <laughs> yeah. And te- te- uh, neither is Texas, right? I don't. Uh, I feel like Jay Schlatt mentioned that once. I don't know if it's like l- no tax or like less tax. I think it's less tax. It, c- it could be but, less. I mean, if, yeah. But in Oregon, there's like absolutely nothing, and you don't have to pump your own gas. And Texas is there. There's just a desert. It's just desert, literally. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know. He he always talks about. He's like jokingly saying like, "Why do I live in Texas, man? Like maybe you want to enjoy your life and go somewhere that's actually nice to look at." <laughs> but I. For now, I think I chose LA and or Sacramento because first Sacramento is my hometown, so like I know where everything is. I'm comfortable, and I know, right? Crazy. Dogs, dogs are ass. Dogs oh it right God. now. Go do it. But <laughs> if I go to LA, I have family down there, and I have um. I I I'm pretty familiar with it and so and it's a good opportunity to do some content out there. Like I mean there's more opportunities everywhere, but I feel like LA's more well known. Yeah. But if I had 
travel to Korea a lot, I think I would have. I think I would live there, but for now, since I haven't been able to, it's on my vacation list. So I have like a list of where I want to go and where I want to live. But for now, it's usually either Sacramento here or Southern California. I'm not gonna just say LA, Southern California, because like, I've I've always wanted to live in like San Diego or something, like a city area. Yeah. But for now, it's just, yeah. <laughs> what about you? I honestly, mm, I mean, I've thought about living in like a city area like that because it does look really fun and exhilarating. But I'm just not sure if I, I don't know if I'd handle that too well. I'm gonna be honest. Like there's a part of me that thinks it would be interesting, but I also don't know if it would exactly correlate with how I am. It depends. If I like... Right now, I'm at a point that I have to do, let's say I have to do a lot. And that means being in an area like where I am now, where it's like relatively calm and there's not too much going on, it's easier for me to do that. So I'm not sure. Maybe that will change in the next years. I'm not sure. But if it doesn't change, then I probably, I kind of like living in like a quaint town, like a quaint town area. And then only going to, like, maybe going to the city sometimes. Maybe, like, once a month or something like that. I don't know. But, like, <laughs> that's probably way too much. But, like, in general, just going sometimes. Because I don't really think I'd care to live in that place. Mm-hmm. But, again, I don't want to live just in, like, sack my whole life. So, I do want to... I remember I had a discussion with my friend before. Where he was, like... He, he said it in, like, like when um people would, like... Uh, like stay like in one place their entire lives like not didn't like it but like he he was like it's not a good idea because you don't get to see the world and you kind of live in your own bubble and there's so much the world has to offer and you don't even try it that really stuck out to me i was like yeah you're right like as much as it'd be nice to have a comfortable stable life here etc i want to see more of the world so i probably would move out probably to a city area but i'll let things pass for now maybe i'll spend maybe three or four more years here where i am Maybe I'll try something new after I graduate. Who knows? No, yeah. Because right now, just moving somewhere else is so expensive. So I'm trying to save up as much money as I can right yeah. now. And then I can think about moving. <laughs> when do you think uh, you would want, like, if you had a general time frame, you think you would move? I want to say after I graduate and have, like, a stable job and just stable financially like financially stable and so and actually know where i'm going to move instead of just being indecisive of oh i want to maybe go here and then oh wait i want to go here and so i it's it's a lot to think about and actually confirm where i want to go yeah and so i think i just want to make sure i'm at a good place that i can either stay or go or just choose whatever i like and so right yeah makes sense uh do you think that would be like maybe you said have like a stable job and stuff but like how long would you have a job for to like build up do you think like maybe two three years maybe because hmm. well right now since i'm still going to college i'm i'm yeah. considered student and so um so that's like a part-time so i think after once i graduate and then um actually go to a full-time job then it's easier to like transfer or something or just okay i see what you mean so maybe like at least one or two years because if i'm staying in sacramento that's totally okay because i know who's around and where i'm around and i know what which part is safe in town and which part is not and so if i just go to somewhere new like say la i'm not like i know which parts and which are not safe or not but it's just something you need to be aware of right because there's there's just so much going on now in this world and so it's it's crazy it is yeah that's true although it is a nice feeling of exhilaration to explore a new place though it is true so i think i would first like go vacation and see which parts i like and like explore my options first and then have a final decision of who life adulting <laughs> yeah uh that that makes sense it really does yeah mm-hmm. that is a good plan 
I was wondering about the thing, about you, the, the job thing, because I was like, it would be weird if you got a job and you tried like immediately moving and then like, yeah, like if that job's not there. But if you transfer, if you have like a state job and you can just transfer to an area in LA, and I'm not saying that's a joke, I'm just saying that like genuinely. Like if you just transfer no, yeah. a different state job, it's just like, you know that job's gonna be anywhere. It's not mm-hmm. like the place where I am, where they're only in like in a certain area or in certain areas. Like yeah. you can like deal with that anywhere you are in Cali. Just, mm-hmm. uh, would you live in like... Like LA, though, like you hear about like how expensive it is, like how unclean the air can be, and like everything around. Like, I mean, I don't think right in LA. I think like just somewhere southern near? California, okay. like near, like because I really liked San Diego because one, you're close to the beach. Yeah, your the air is pretty clean, um, and there's just lots of like, uh, little markets around, but. It is close. It it is kind of close to LA, but like if I want to go to LA, I it's just two hours away. Yeah. But I think I I just want to explore my options more, and so I'm just saying Southern California. And so like, if I really want to go to LA, I could talk to my like uncle about it and see how like he thought of living in LA. And so yeah, it's just just a lot of decisions to concurrent makes sense makes sense think about... okay cool cool i like that when when do you think you would want to move i really have no idea i mean I, I think it just depends it depends more on when i find out if i want to or not or like where i want to i mean kind of mm-hmm. like you except i don't really have a general plan of where i would go because as you know i'm i i like la but i know there's a lot of cons about it like very prevalent cons so i'm like i'll have to think about it more it's yeah. a very touristy place and so it's always going to be so crowded it's because one you have disneyland and universal there and two there's so many museums yeah and so it's always going to be so crowded and almost a lot of celebrities live in la like malibu and like uh like they go to rodeo drive to just go eat or like go shopping oh yeah so that's and so that's one of the reasons why I'm leaning not going to LA, but would you go know, there if you just... become a celebrity? <laughs> if I became a celebrity, I don't think I'd go to LA. Really? It's just it's I I want to be different than other celebrities. And so I don't want to be like <laughs> The same. Oh, I live in LA in a mansion. No, just kidding. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're not wrong though. But like think about your like, free career though. All the collabs you could do. I can travel. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's better to be with the be the freaking with uh with the crowd at this point. Driving eight hours every time for a collab, my god. <laughs> well, because if I live in LA, there's you know, oh, can I have a picture? Oh, can I have a picture? Oh, stop here, paparazzi. Choo, 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 choo. Okay, <laughs> I, I feel like we're well. You, I don't think we're gonna get that big. <laughs> well, celebrities. Let's say like internet celebrities, because I, I feel like that's what, more what we're aiming for, right? For them, it's not that bad. At least it's bad, True. but not as bad as like Harry Styles walking into a concert, like you know. True. Yeah. But I I think if I were be- become internet big <laughs> what was I, that what was I, that i don't know if i want to say celebrities or not but become internet, internet big <laughs> i i don't know if i would live in la i think oh my god uh. i think i'd live somewhere just where i was me <laughs> right. anyway okay cool <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Next question. What other three? Did I say that right? What no, are... not at no, all. I did not. <laughs> what are three other podcasts you'd recommend to my audience, and why? Ding, 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 ding. What was that? Like was someone shaking keys in your freaking car? Oh no, freaking... my dog. My dog was shaking, so the. Dog uh... was <laughs> Someone's like throwing keys at you. Like, all right, Kelly, come on, take me to the store. We gotta Catch. go. <laughs> knocks out knocks you out on the podcast and i'm like this will be a good clip i'll, I'll save it <laughs> <laughs> dead uh, yeah. anyways do you even listen to the podcast i do um they're more 
but more life knowing uh, no not life knowing yeah you have to rephrase that <laughs> more <laughs> i know life more too and I've, I've been doing it for 19 years <laughs> just some like advice for life and so it's yeah what are the podcasts called <laughs> Um, oh god, what is the name? Why am I blinking all of a sudden? Do you know, are the, are the people that do the podcast ones that I know or no? Uh, they're, they're YouTubers. Okay, can, do you have any names? Uh, one is David Dobrik, his podcast. Oh. Yeah, I don't think you know him. No, I know him. No, I, not for not the good reasons. Not yeah. for the good reasons, though. Oh, god. <laughs> um. One, they just started, but I've been following up with their channel a lot, and so... What's the channel called? Uh, their channel is called Matt and Abby. Okay. Uh, Never heard of them, but still cool. They... They are a family, and they just talk about how they started and how... How what they had to conquer. Um, what's my third one? Um... Oh my god, what am, why why am I blinking? <laughs> Want me to say mine while you're thinking of yours? Or, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> um I don't know an order. I'll think of the order as I say them probably. One of them is the offline TV podcast. It's kind of obvious. I love I like I love offline TV. The podcasts are fun. They they aren't afraid to talk about like maybe also like controversial stuff and like maybe like stuff that's a little that some people would be a little too sensitive about to talk about on the internet which is true some people are too sensitive to talk about some so, topics but they are willing to bring it up and discuss them kind of like moist critical he kind of gives like very based like very like real take on a lot of things obviously he's not that doesn't mean he's always right but that means he doesn't pull his punches and that's what the offline tv podcast does so i like them Especially when Toast is on. Toast is always really fun to podcast. He's really good at including everyone in the conversations, which I like. And he was actually the first... Um, because he mentioned that like having like more than like three people on a podcast, it like really goes bad because a lot of people aren't in, like don't talk for a while. That's why when I started this with Kelly, I was telling her, we should keep it between three to four people at all times. We should not have that many people. And she was like, okay, all right, I got it. Like... I remember I made sure to emphasize that a lot because Toast mentioned that and he's done the podcast for like three years, so got some experience. So I like that. There's another one, um Sleep Deprived Podcast. It's one by Jay Schla and some of his friends. It's just funny. I like it. But they also talk about like really good stuff. Like they talked about like self-doubt and like ambition. They did. It was one episode. A lot of the times it's trolling and having a good time. Talking about random stuff. Like, what if you put like a toilet paper deep within your asshole? And it's like, I don't <laughs> like what's going on. But like it's funny and I I like it. So it's mainly just entertaining. What's the third one? I'm trying to think of a third podcast I listen to. Um who else even has one? There was one that um I'm trying to think of my, I I don't even know if I have a third one that I like. I think it's just those two. I have one. I, okay, I have a listen to some episodes of Banter with Carl Jacobs and Sapnap. It's not my favorite though. I kind of got bored after. I literally only watched the episode with Valkyrie and I just left. I'm like, okay, like eh, I'm not too into it. I don't know. So those are technically my top three, even though one of them is like, eh, yeah. I remember my third one. You remember it? it was yeah. <laughs> so it's she also has this YouTube channel where she does like a lot of like hacks and like just anything yeah. in general. And so she came out with a podcast with her and her husband too. And her name is well her her YouTube channel is called Natalie's Outlet. And um and I think her podcast channel name is hashtag viral or um or i think it's just her name natalie oh i don't know how to pronounce her last name but she just does a lot of like what she went through in her life and so just like a lot of life well knowings of what to expect and what how to like overcome those and yeah. so she does like she does a lot of like expectation and reality stuff and she gives out a lot of like just well knowledge of 
what is going to happen or like how how she over overcomes things. <laughs> and so I, like I it, think yeah. those are the top three I mainly listen to. Um, like I've, I've listened to a couple others, like, um, I don't know if you've heard the channel Good Mythical Morning. I think yes, I they're... love them. They're great. I listen to their podcast. I think it's called Ears and Biscuit or something like that. I but the name. I love their channel. They're so funny. I love GMM. It's so good. <laughs> but um, I don't. I I don't really listen to the podcast like every time. I listen to three now that I just mentioned, but I mostly watch their videos and so oh yeah but they're just they're just funny in general but i think those are three i mainly listen to but yeah i love her and link if they did more like comedy sketches i feel like like smosh used to do i feel like i'd be more into them because like they'd be really good at it they're good at acting mm -hmm. i think in general with like when they have the talk show host or personality i like it but it's like i would like it better if they were like doing sketches and stuff like acting i think they would pull mm -hmm. it off well no, uh, yeah, th th those are pretty good. I think um, there's technically also one that isn't a podcast, but it's another. It's like a cool series. You you know Anthony Padilla, obviously, right? Oh yeah. Like his interview, I mean, his, his interview <laughs> series. I love that a lot. I've yes. watched so many, and I think like he asks really good questions. He's he brings out a lot of people. He's brought corpse Valkyrie, a bunch of people. He's brought people with like Tourette's. He's brought people that have been like, kidnapped. He brought people that are bounty hunters. He brings out mm -hmm. so many kinds of people and brings out so much awareness for so many groups that I, I did not know nearly as much about until I watched those um until I watched those um interviews that he had with them and I learned a lot more, which is really an I enjoy. Do you watch the interview interviews he has? Oh yeah, they're very good. Yeah, I watch I watch them. Yeah. I like I mean I don't watch like every single one, but I've watched most of them. Oh yeah, and so it's good. But I. I started watching him from Smosh. Yeah, same. And then they all pew. And so the story of Defy. <laughs> yeah, I was so sad that thing because okay, him and Ian were like, or not Ian, but like the guy Ian. on Smosh. That's yeah, Ian. Ian. Okay, yeah. What the heck is wrong? <laughs> like they were so funny together yeah. and then once they i was like oh i'm so sad but it, it makes sense he went yeah. to other creative endeavors and it's still good mm -hmm. yeah but they yeah. built like a whole company together and that was really cool that's a really good experience to yeah. have with a friend yeah uh okay so what is your biggest pet peeve kelly Choi vlog oh. Oh my god. Okay, so my biggest pet peeve is when someone like either gets your attention or just calls your name. Like, for example, if I say, Oh, hey, Afraz, and like it takes me a second to like turn around or like, Oh, yeah, what's up? Like, if someone calls for my attention and then I don't turn or like, say hey what's up like as immediately and like it takes me like a couple seconds or like even a i don't minute. like where this is going <laughs> if i don't do that and then once i do i'm like oh what's up and then they say oh never mind i'm like why oh. do you even tell me or like why do you even like call for me if you're gonna just say never mind like i thought you were gonna say like them getting like annoyed about it or something that's what i was oh. thinking at first okay so. like <laughs> Like, of course I'm doing something, and so I'm like, I'm not going to be like, oh, what's up? Or like, like if I'm doing something, let me finish it, and then I'll be like, oh, you have my full attention. But like, if I finish it up, and then I look at them, and I'm like, yes. That's fair. And they're like, never mind. I'll just do it myself, or I'll, I'll ask you later. I'm like, then just ask me now, or just don't even say my name. Because <laughs> I've had people do that to me, and it's it gets annoying, because you, A, wonder what they needed yeah two why they even called your name three was it important four was it an emergency like it could be so many different things yeah but they just say oh never mind and then like later later on they'll be like oh remember i tried getting your attention i'm like and then it's like something stupid or something <laughs> and, and oh my like, god that was that's what you needed like 
<laughs> and so just calling someone's name for attention and then saying never mind that's my biggest pet peeve do you like give any sort of cue that you heard it at all or do you yeah okay like i'll say oh give me one second or i'll just be like Oh, oh that's weird then. Okay. Well, it it's, uh, it depends. I feel like there's some things that like for example, maybe you you tell someone and then in that small time frame that they're even about to answer you, you think, "Oh no, like I'm not going to bother them or like or the, I can I can see that feel. I know I'm not saying you shouldn't be pet peeved by it, but I can see the situations where that is not made out of ill intent or bad intent. It's just I'm trying to say something and like, "No, never mind. Like I'm nah, it's fine." Like something like that. Which I don't do often, but it is valid in my opinion to sometimes do. But yeah. No, it's it's one of my pet peeves because they'll either be sitting right next to me or just in front of me and they'll mm-hmm. just call my name and then I'll be like, Oh, hold on and then they're just staring at me and then I'll be like, Yeah, what's up? And like they could have been doing something else while they're waiting for me. Oh, staring usually, at you is kinda weird. Yeah, it's usually like, okay, say this is this is me and I'm working mm-hmm. and then I'm just staring at me or they're staring at me and like they're not doing anything they're just waiting and then as soon as I look up and they're like oh never mind and so it's like they could have been doing something else but it it seemed like they needed my attention and then they needed me to just stop what I was doing and then oh never mind like I would understand like I understand if like someone's like like way behind me and then like they call my name or something and then they're busy with something and then I I get that they say never mind but like if you're just right in front of me doing nothing and just staring at me and then you say never mind that's when it gets on my pet peeves no that makes sense I I completely agree that makes sense that yeah (laughs) you're right yeah i think for me uh it's when people complain about something they don't have and they don't even try to make the steps towards it Mm. when people do that it it annoys me because there's so many steps that you can take to go forward in that direction Obviously, there are some things that you might not be able to. Like, there are, like, mental issues you might... Not mental issues, but, like, things on your mind or, like, big stresses that you might not immediately figure out, like, what a step towards or something like that, right? Like I said, like, maybe you're like, oh, like, you have, like, like, uh, like confidence issues. And then say, like, oh, yeah, like, you don't... You might not know how to fix that or, like, to go about that. No, that's totally fine. But it's like when saying, like, oh, like, I want to go to the gym blah 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 blah, and they make more excuses about why they can't do versus like trying at least a small steps even if it was like going to the gym once every week like that's something it's something and a lot of people are in that uh, there's a very select few amount of people that are literally working and grinding every second of their lives and they for them it is physically impossible to that's fine but sorry to sound mean but majority of people who say they don't have time in my opinion actually do have the time at least to start getting into it maybe you're not able to fully get into as much as you could because again there's only 24 hours in a day but you should be able to start something very small steps like if you tell me you can't spend five minutes a day to like take a stretch or like to drink some water you're that's not true so that's one of my pet peeves i don't really like say it to people because they can do them but when they tell me like like I need help with this thing. I want to reach this goal. What do I do? I'm like, start working on it. Don't just talk about it. Make the steps towards it. So yeah, now that's one of mine. Um, not many people have this problem that I know at least. Usually when they say they want to do something, they like actually move with it, which is what I like mm-hmm. about people. But if they just talk about, oh, I want to do this, but I can't do this because of this. And I'm like, just, just try it. Like a little bit step. Even if you worked out like 30 minutes at the gym, and you don't end up going back for another two weeks and you go again, that's progress. Mm-hmm. I don't know if this is a pet peeve, but when this also annoys me too, um, is when people guilt trip you on purpose. I hate that so much. Is that a pet peeve? I want to say it is, but I'd not s- at the same time. I mean, why would you think it's not a pet peeve? Because it is something that would annoy you. True. No, it gets on my nerves when people guilt treat me on purpose. Like, I understand if it was, like, on accident. Yeah. But, like, when you do it on purpose, it is, A, so annoying. 
two, you get mad, and then three, you'll be like, oh wait, it's messed maybe, up. Maybe, maybe it is true, or like it messes with your brain, and then you, like D, feel sorry about it, or just you feel not it, and I'm like, then what was the point? Like, it's it's so annoying. <laughs> it like first it gets me so mad, and then I like fully think about it, and I'm like. Is it really? And then I'm like, no, no, that is not, that is not me. I don't do that. And like, I feel like it's their way of trying to get attention for themselves. Oh, yeah. But I'm like, to guilt trip someone is so wrong and messed up. But it's so so aggregate, not aggregate, aggravating, <laughs> right? Can't, yeah, I can't talk. It's so frustrating, and it makes my blood boil she's getting so aggravated she can't speak english (laughs) (laughs) because they'll say something that it'll just tick me off and i'm like just just be quiet (laughs) like what's the intention of that you're just trying to like make someone else just feel worse it's like okay Mm -hmm. congratulations you're an asshole yeah and then they're like oh i'm sorry i didn't mean to say it like that or no i'm sorry i didn't i didn't mean to say those words i'm like then what what are you trying to say like just just shush shush <laughs> and so i'm like oh my god but yeah so people like, just don't I've, think at all yeah. yeah no no they do not and so like i've met a couple people that do does that and i'm like just like me for real no i'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you have never done that ever in your life <laughs> but like I'm like then like it's like something you think about like why why would you say something to someone like that and like just say those like why would those words come out of your mouth like you should think before saying something because a you can really hurt someone like me I can take it because I I know how to deal with it but some people don't and they'll take it the wrong way and so it, it'll turn in the worst case scenario. But it's just people need to be more aware of what they're going to say. And so definitely put more thought into it. Yeah, a lot of people. Yeah. So that's probably my two biggest pet peeves. And so. Yeah, that, that is one. Does the, the guilt trip thing happen? Like, did you friends do that to you? Or like just random yeah. or like people? Oh, geez, I hate that. Sometimes it's random people, and then sometimes it's my friends. I've experienced with that too, as you probably know. So I definitely. And I'm not gonna say who. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's happened a lot, like recently. Oh. And so I it's. If you're watching this right now, freak yourself, okay? (laughs) Piece of crap, get the hell off this podcast. No one wants you here, okay? Leave. Yeah. I'm guilt tripping so, you like, to get out. <laughs> and so, like, I needed to tell someone. So I'll, like, record a video just for myself. And I'm, like, watching this video. And then I'm I'm recording. And I'm, like, holy crap. I'm, like, so mad in this video. Kel, you could tell me if you ever if you ever need someone <laughs> no, to, like, rant that to, you know? just I know. But it's just... Know. <laughs> I don't know how to, like tell someone without like telling myself and so it's just easier and then it just gets it off my chest and it's all like huh i volunteer as tribute <laughs> i volunteer but it's it's not it's not like from my close friends it's just from a friend yeah okay that's fair i love that too couple friends I can't, oh really i don't want to just single them out and so yeah but i'm not gonna say who but it, it's happened hey guys comment um, down below who do you think? <laughs> which friends out of this list no, i'll thumb i'll th- i'll uh do a little heart for who's actually the person <laughs> I'm, no, kidding, but, I'm kidding and, and like i feel like they know uh, they're doing it on purpose mm-hmm. but then like i don't want to say like why are you doing this you like, should you should like, confront them you should confront them really. i've confronted them a couple times but then i'm like getting to the point like i'm i'm tired of keep confronting you and like about this and like i've i've really thought about just cutting them off but the nice in me was like just well make it like 
know that you're you don't want that and so like i've made it say like oh i don't i don't want this to keep happening and so the nice the nice of me yeah. told me to just make like just see if it could it's gonna get better if not just cut it off and it has been getting better okay kind of but um i i don't i don't know okay. so it time is ticking <laughs> i was gonna say i was gonna ask i was like when you um when you confronted them what did they say or what happened uh, i was gonna ask that but if if is that progress like satisfactory to you at least for now like is that like a good amount of progress that someone would make in that sort of depart like it was it the kind where it's like something really obvious like oh yeah like don't do this very obvious thing and they're like okay doesn't do very obvious thing but most of the issue is still there like they're not making their problems about themselves as much but at the same time there is that little bit still not because they're not saying the actual same words but like i can just tell by how they're phrasing their words that there's still a little bit part of that in them but it is i want to say it's getting better kind of but i I guess it just takes time like Mm. i totally understand that but like you didn't have to start this in the first place (laughs) yeah but you know at the end of the day it's so that kind of behavior can come from people even when we're really close to them it's just bad it's just gonna be from bad circumstances and we don't know what's going on in their lives too i'm not saying that they didn't do something wrong they did something wrong they guilt trip my partner i'm gonna freaking punch him in the face if they don't fix it but like you know it's it makes sense that sometimes it just happens you just you, you know it's nice to forgive as long as they're putting the proper effort and again as long as you determine yeah. that they're putting an effort or things are going like well that's fine just a quick psa if you are a kind person that does not mean sorry let me rephr- rephrase you can be kind but still not a pushover that's something a lot of people need to know mm-hmm. i should know uh because i used to be someone that was kind and a pushover and I fully am aware of that. That's a story for another day. But you need to you need to learn. You can be kind to people, but also not let people treat you like garbage. So you can be kind to people. And then if people are causing trouble for you, then you can be stern and serious and say, hey, listen, you're not going to be doing that anymore. Not under my watch. So just a little PSA for you, Kels. I know you're a very mm-hmm. nice person, very kind person. Obviously, as we have known from the good cop, bad cop situation we have, I will like in the first episode. Yeah, I will. I will walk up to someone and be like, "Hey, stop doing what you're doing. You piece of crap." And you'll be like, "Yeah, you could just like not do that. Like, <laughs> please don't." <laughs> it's very different. No, yeah, <laughs> you get what I mean. Yeah, a little bit of no, best of yeah, both worlds. When it first happened, I was like, "Oh, okay." Like, I didn't really like think about it, but then when it kept happening, I was like, "Either if like I told myself if." Like, cause it started like, cause technically this is a new year, and so last year it started happening. I was like, if it's gonna keep going on till New Year's, I'm just gonna end it. Yeah. But then there's like those days where it didn't happen, and so I was like, okay, maybe it, maybe it changed. <laughs> but like when it, like the first couple times it happened, I'm like, okay, like whatever. But then when it kept happening, I was like, what the heck? Like I'm, I'm now understanding what it's kind of like it's like registering in my head and i'm like i i'm not enjoying this and like i should be enjoying the conversation that we're having but like just because that person's not getting like its way doesn't mean you, you call it because to... <laughs> i i'm not gonna say the gender <laughs> you, said it. you could have said they <laughs> oh the person getting... it's personality i'm like you're demeaning it to like less than human <laughs> just because they're not getting their way there we go <laughs> doesn't mean you get to just say those things about me yeah and just like hey like and like shoot me down and then yeah. make me think oh i'm actually doing this on purpose like no i i'm not doing anything on purpose like i'm doing it because yeah it's me and like it's and i'm like like the things that they say it's like something that they want in life 
and, and I'm not giving you. that. Yeah. Oh, I hate that. I think and one of my friends recently had this problem. They told they talked to me about it. I'm not gonna say names, obviously, but like they've talked about that too. And I'm like, it's no one's obligation to give you something certain. If if you want something and someone doesn't give it, and like you are not okay with that, then just split off. But you shouldn't be like staying in a a any connection with someone friendship relationship whatever it is when you want something from the other person and they just they don't want to give it to you that doesn't mean you force them into giving it to you that means you understand and either you remove that need from yourself in that friendship or you just leave other than that if you if you keep it and the friendship or relationship you're gonna just poison the other person with your own insecurities and that's ridiculous that's unfair and i've told this person if you if you're gonna like keep doing this and like if you and i'm not giving the satisfaction that you want just leave like just block me or just leave and i like told that that many times and they're still keeping me in contact and so i'm like so i have to do something Mm. in order like and then if i do something they're gonna be like oh why'd you do that or like and then guilt me guilt trip me even more and i'm like i'm it's whatever you either block me or stay i don't care yep like i'm getting to the point of just be like i i don't care your words come in here out the other (laughs) and so yeah it's it's but that's my other biggest pet peeve is when people guilt trip me or people guilt trip the people close in my life and so because it's it's not fun it's not fun at all oh yeah it's it's yeah (laughs) <laughs> that's so real <laughs> yeah i mean you said but... like you said they had progress but like they're still doing that in my opinion my humble opinion that's mine just get rid of them like it doesn't seem worth it you have i mean they have they haven't been doing it recently and so that's why i'm i'm okay okay that's fair i'm just but... saying you probably have you probably have hired to your friends i really don't think you're gonna miss too much getting rid of them just saying like as mean no, as it yeah. sounds, like there are like some people that you could be like, oh yeah, like do they contribute something nice to the friendship? I mean, maybe they don't. Maybe they don't. No, yeah. But yeah, I'm not saying that person is, but just proof for thought. Yeah, it's I'm like thinking, I'm like, since they haven't been doing it, it's fine. I'm okay. But if it starts happening, I'm I'm just gonna be done at that point. And I'm like you you did this on yourself if like, you're this person you better get your crap together because kelly's not freaking around here like i'm i'm nice and all but if you keep doing like something to the point where i'm like done yeah then you're you're done like there's no going back there's no apologizing there's like there's nothing because i'm like i don't want to have this in my life again like if i oh if i accept your policy and then you do it again like mm-hmm. i'm not I'm not going to feel satisfied and like, oh, happy about this friendship. But and so I'm like, no. And so, yeah. And so I'm like, either get better or go back to your old self and you're done. <laughs> and so, <laughs> I'm sorry. Imagine you saying get better as in like a video game, like get better or. <laughs> and so for privacy reasons, I'm not saying their name. No, say it. We'll, we'll, we'll boop it out right now. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> But yeah. I think if you watch this and you know who I'm talking about, get better. <laughs> <laughs> whoever's watching on YouTube, she's not pointing to all of you. I'd like to make that really no, clear. No, she's no, not I, pointing I to all of you. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I point at you. <laughs> she literally pointed at the camera and I'm like, Kelly, maybe you shouldn't do that. Like, there, There's some young kid that's going to be watching this and they're like, oh my, mommy, did, 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 mommy, this pretty Asian girl pointed at me in the camera and it was very hurtful. <laughs> I think this person will know who I'm talking about, but just either. Let's rip the bandaid off. Uh, Let's say the name. Let's do it. Let's cause some drama. Okay. Let's rip the bandaid off. See, I'm not the type. Oh, another, another, going back to the first question, another um, misunderstanding, like when people misunderstood me, they think I caused drama, which I Real. Real. (laughs) Which I completely do not cause you agree, any right? drama whatsoever. 
See, she agrees. She literally stopped licking herself just just to look at me. She actually I, agrees. I compl- like people ask me like, cause I'll say, oh, what was your like first like impression of me? And they're A like, bitch. Okay. <laughs> they're like, they're like, we we thought you like, um, like we thought you were nice and all, but we thought we, like you would like cause like lots of drama or like start drama. I'm like, yeah. Me cause drama? Like, I'm a shy person. Like, I'm yeah. not gonna be like. Oh, what'd you say? Oh, what'd you say? <laughs> like, I'm not gonna go into people's like drama and like be like and get in the middle because getting into the middle of someone's drama is the worst. It is so annoying, and like I want to help, but then at the same time, don't reel me in. So yeah, just, just yeah. Get I me out of I it. I would support a person like privately message them if they're going through that, like if I care about mm-hmm. them, but um. It is their problem to figure out, but I would message them. Yeah. And if, if they're like showing signs of being distressed, I'll be like, "Hey, like, you you okay, man? Like, you need anything? Like, no, that yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, I'll like message or like I'll like go up to them, but don't actually put me yeah. publicly into this drama. It wouldn't happen because... too much. Most normal people don't do it in the middle of a freaking group chat. Some people are weird, aka a lot of people that I've uh, had certain histories with. They would do it in a group chat, but most normal people that are not complete pieces of despicable uh garbage they would just do it in dms and so most of the time i feel like they wouldn't involve people publicly but yes kelly is right there are people that do that and that's annoying and you should not do that it's um once you involve other people with your own stuff it gets to the point where it's like uh if you really need it then i can see it but a lot of times people don't even really need it they just involve other people and they ruin everyone's day mm-hmm. so yeah we um yeah those are our pet peeves there is technically another one that I have. Unfortunately, you guys will not be able to hear it because we have definitely went over time. We were actually going to go over Q&A, but we definitely went too long on the pet peeve part. So it is it's what it okay. is. But <laughs> we did get some questions. Uh, we did get some questions from Instagram DMs, which they want to remain anonymous. But we will be answering those next time. So we will be answering those and we will actually be answering questions every podcast because I will actually have posted the first episode by now. By the time I'm recording this, hopefully it's posted within the next two hours, or I will simply die. So yeah, um, do you have any other closing notes, Kels? Um, I don't think so. Because yeah, we'll be answering Q and A's in the next one. Like we'll finish the topic lists on episode four and get through those questions from anonymous people because they didn't want to be publicly announced and so which is totally okay but yeah i think i think we were just talking about pet peeves of us so. we were. And i mean those those are a big thing to talk about because i don't think they're because a lot of people have different pet peeves and so <laughs> and so i think talking about each pet peeves that we had was a good way to um just (laughs) just a good way to say to others and see who can relate and stuff and so yeah because other people just have different ones and not not the same ones like some people have like nail biting or like or tapping something or or something but yeah yeah Yes, I definitely heard every single word of that in detail while I was trying to get my cats <laughs> off of my shirt. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Bye.